Good day everybody. I thought I would talk about houses versus flats, which is the most vulnerable in a downturn. And the reason I'm going to talk about that today is because a number of people have been asking me which is more vulnerable. Now, the reason flats over the years have become popular is because people can't afford houses. So, in my opinion, in a downturn, Flats are more vulnerable, and you'll see that by the amount of surplus flats there are for sale in a city or town where you're looking to purchase. There was recently a very good article that I tweeted about how many and how expensive flats are compared to houses, and across the UK, for the first time in 20 years, houses are double the price of flats. And that's what happens when you start getting a property downturn. So recently, I've, in fact, I completed today, fortunately, I've sold a flat for £200,000. It completes today so I can talk about it. It's a flat that I originally developed 30 years ago. I then bought it back. Um, it was a probate sale and I bought it back because it was on a short lease and I own the freehold so I can then issue a new long lease and the leases these days of course have to be 999 years at zero grand rent so I bought it in refurbished it put it on the new lease and sold it again and we sold it for £200,000 and it completes today the sales taken six months to happen it's been an, a very challenging little deal however if that flat was to be put on the market now I think I'll get 25000 less so that just shows you how vulnerable flats are to a downturn. And what starts the downturn with flats is the least popular. So the least popular flat, for instance, would be the top floor. And this actually is a top floor flat. It's a very nice flat, and I suppose the people buying it are delighted with it. But it's a top floor flat. So if there's a downturn in prices, people don't have to buy a top floor flat. They can buy a first floor flat. And the people who got a first floor flat, uh, who were going to buy a first floor, might be able to buy a ground floor flat with a garden. So you can see what happens in a downturn. Now, houses are always more popular than flats because, on the whole, you are totally independent. You, 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 know, you own the bricks and mortar rather than on a long lease. And my nephew, who is looking to buy in London at the moment, said to me, what do you think I should do, John? And I said, if you can buy a house, buy a house. If you can stretch that extra bit, and I know it's difficult at the moment with mortgages going up and so on, then, then buy a house. Because most people start off buying a flat, especially in London, then, then they tend to go and buy a house when they have a family or so on. So if you can jump that now, because prices are going down, that's a great thing. You're saving a transaction, and you're saving a load of stamp duty looking, you know, going forward, obviously. Of course, if you can afford to retain the flat that, you're, that you think you can buy and then buy, buy a house later on and retain the flat, that's even better. But not everyone can obviously do that. So houses versus flats, without question, flats are more vulnerable in a downturn. And if you're looking to buy a flat in a city or a town, just see how many more, how many flats there are available. And I think you'll find there's a lot more available than you think. So if you're looking to buy a house in, say, three flats as an investment, and the agent tells you, oh, they all sell for 250,000 each, and you can buy them for 200,000 each, which would you know, be quite a nice little deal, especially if you're going to retain them, just have a look, because you might find that, yes, there are some at 250,000 pounds, but they're not selling. And if you want to sell them, those flats are 225,000 or even 200,000 because that people have such a choice of how many to purchase. And I'm talking myself really out of deals in a way because my career has been based around really buying uh, derelict buildings and converting them into flats. So I'm, you know, I've bought and sold more flats than anything else in my career. But uh, this is this, this, um, YouTube channel is always is always about being honest, direct, and giving genuine advice with no angle to it from my point of view whatsoever. And I think that's really important that you can trust my advice 
Whether you believe it or not, that's entirely up to you. It's based on over 40 years experience and I've survived three property recessions. So be careful. I'm not saying don't buy flats at all, but just bear in mind that you need a bigger discount than you would if you're buying a house. Um, I'm always reminded to tell everyone that my first seminars are on the 20th and 21st of March, two day seminar in London and we cover commercial, we cover residential, we cover auctions. I buy dinner on the first night. So uh, if anyone wants to come along to one of my seminars, they can go to johnhowardproperty.com and book. And I look forward to seeing you there. In the meantime, get out, try and do some deals. Auctions are probably the best place to look at at the moment, but please be careful. See you soon.